Ever pondered how the seasons change, how the sun rises and sets, how the tides ebb and flow? This rhythm of life, this ebb and flow, rise and set, is a dance that has been in motion since the dawn of time. It's a cycle we're all a part of, whether we realize it or not. Take a moment to think about the world around you. Notice how the trees sway with the wind, how the birds migrate with the changing seasons, how the moon waxes and wanes. These are all examples of the cyclical nature of life, a pattern that's as old as the universe itself. Now, think about your own life. Consider the ups and downs, the triumphs and failures, the moments of joy and moments of sorrow. Like the seasons, our lives are also cyclical, filled with periods of growth and decline, of learning and unlearning. This brings us to a profound insight from Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher. In his book, Meditations, he writes, the cycle of the world never changes, up then down, from this age to the next. This simple yet profound statement captures the essence of life's cyclical nature. But what does it mean for us? It means that change is the only constant in life. It means that everything is impermanent, from our own bodies and minds to the world around us. It means that we are all part of this grand cycle, this eternal dance of change and impermanence. Yet, this realization need not be a cause for despair. Rather, it can be a source of liberation. Once we accept that change is inevitable, we can stop resisting it and start embracing it. We can learn to flow with life's rhythms, to dance with its ebbs and flows, to rise and set with its suns and moons. The cycle of life, as Marcus Aurelius puts it, is unchanging. But what does it mean for us? Change is as multifaceted as a well-cut diamond, reflecting a variety of aspects of our lives. Let's dive into the many faces of change, the myriad ways it can manifest and impact us. In our personal lives, change can be as simple as the shift in our daily routine or as monumental as a major life event such as a birth, a death, a marriage, or a move. Each instance of change, big or small, carries with it a ripple effect, transforming not only our circumstances, but also how we perceive the world around us. Consider, for instance, the evolution of our relationships. As we grow and change, so do the people around us. Friendships bloom, fade, and sometimes endure, mirroring the ebbs and flows of our own journeys. The child, once reliant on the parent, may become the caregiver. The student may become the teacher. These shifts, though often challenging, enrich our experiences and broaden our perspectives. Now let's zoom out a bit. On a societal level, change is just as pervasive. Technological advancements, shifts in political landscapes, and cultural revolutions all serve as catalysts for change. Think about how the advent of the internet has revolutionized our world, altering how we communicate, work, and even think, or ponder the societal transformation spurred by the civil rights movement or the women's suffrage movement. These changes, though often met with resistance, have shaped our world in profound ways. But remember, change isn't always linear. It doesn't always mean moving forward or progressing. Sometimes it means taking a step back, reassessing, and then choosing a different path. It's in these moments of redirection that we often find the most personal growth. As we navigate the ever-changing landscapes of our lives, we must remember that change, in all its forms, is a constant companion on our journey. It is a fundamental part of the human experience, a testament to our capacity for adaptation and growth. Change in all its forms is inevitable. The challenge lies in how we perceive and respond to it. Change, while constant, is not always comfortable. Imagine standing on a shoreline, 
watching the waves roll in. They crash, recede, and then crash again. This is the nature of change. It's ceaseless, relentless, and often unpredictable. And just like those waves, change can be a force of immense power in our lives. One of the biggest challenges we face when confronted with change is fear. Fear of the unknown, of what we might lose, and of what could be lurking just beyond the horizon. It's a primal instinct, wired deep within us, to resist what we don't know or understand. It's the voice in the back of our heads, whispering. What if things don't work out? What if this is a mistake? Loss is another tribulation that comes hand in hand with change. Whether it's the end of a relationship, the passing of a loved one, or the closing of a chapter in our lives, loss can leave us feeling unmoored and adrift. It's a stark reminder of the impermanence of everything around us, a hard truth that can be difficult to accept. Uncertainty, too, is a constant companion of change. It's the fog that obscures our view of the future, leaving us unsure of what lies ahead. Uncertainty can be unsettling, causing us to doubt our decisions and second-guess our choices. It's a feeling of being suspended in midair, not quite sure where we'll land, yet in the midst of these trials and tribulations, there is a silver lining. These challenges, as daunting as they may seem, are actually opportunities in disguise. They push us out of our comfort zones, compel us to grow, and force us to confront our fears head on. They're the crucible in which our resilience is forged and our character is tested. So while change can be uncomfortable, it's also essential. It's the engine that drives our evolution, the force that propels us forward. It's the wave that sweeps us off our feet, but also the one that carries us to new shores. While change can be challenging, it also opens doors to new possibilities. Every cloud has a silver lining, every change an opportunity. Let's shift our focus now to the positive side of change, to the opportunities it presents. While it's true that change can bring about uncertainty, it's equally accurate that it opens doors to new possibilities, acting as a catalyst for growth, learning, and transformation. Consider a seed. In its transformation into a towering tree, it undergoes numerous changes, each stage vital to its development. Similarly, we, as humans, are not static beings. We are in a constant state of flux evolving with every experience, every encounter. Change, in this regard, is not just necessary, it's inevitable. It's the driving force that propels us forward, nudging us out of our comfort zones and encouraging us to explore uncharted territories. Take a moment to reflect on your own life. Think about the times when change has led you down a path of personal growth. Perhaps it was a challenging job that honed your skills, or maybe a difficult relationship that taught you resilience and self-love. These experiences, though tough at the time, were transformative, weren't they? They shaped you, molded you into the person you are today. And this is the beauty of change. It's a teacher, a mentor, guiding us through life, helping us to learn, to grow, to evolve. It shows us that we are capable of more than we think, that we can rise above challenges and come out stronger on the other side. So, instead of resisting change, let's learn to embrace it. Let's see it for what it truly is, an opportunity. An opportunity to learn, to grow, to transform. An opportunity to step into the unknown, to take risks, to push boundaries. An opportunity to reinvent ourselves, become better versions of ourselves. Remember, just like the seed, we too need to undergo changes to grow, to blossom, to reach our full potential. So let's not fear change. Let's welcome it. Let's embrace it. For it's only through change that we can truly evolve. 
Change is not just about endings, it's about new beginnings too. Marcus Aurelius, a philosopher emperor, had a unique perspective on change. This Roman emperor, who ruled at the height of the empire's power, saw life from a vantage point few of us can imagine. Yet, his words resonate with us today. He proposed that change, the unending cycle of up and down, was not something to be feared, but rather an intrinsic part of existence. Aurelius's stoic philosophy offers a practical guide to navigate life's ups and downs. It invites us to accept change as the natural order of things and not as an aberration. He wrote, time is a sort of river of passing events and strong is its current. This metaphor of life as a river highlights the constant flow of change. Aurelius also urged us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. This powerful principle allows us to maintain our calm and composure amid the turbulence of change. By accepting change as a given, we can free ourselves from the anxiety and fear it often incites. Importantly, Aurelius's philosophy encourages us to live in the present. He believed that by immersing ourselves fully in the here and now, we could find peace and contentment regardless of external circumstances. In essence, Aurelius's wisdom urges us to embrace change, not as an enemy to be defeated, but as a teacher to be learned from. Aurelius teaches us to not just endure change, but to embrace it. So we've journeyed through the cycle of change, but what does it all mean? We've recognized that change in its myriad forms is a constant presenting both challenges and opportunities. We've discussed how Marcus Aurelius, through his stoic philosophy, teaches us to embrace change and live in the present. This perspective can be a guiding light as we navigate this ever-evolving existence. As we navigate the eternal cycle of life, remember Aurelius's words, the cycle of the world never changes, up then, down, from this age to the next.